Zero Accounting Software 2023. Income from bank feeds with bank rules. One customer, but two income accounts. Get ready to become an accountant hero with Zero 2023. Here we are in our custom Zero homepage. Going into the company file we set up in a prior presentation, the bank feed file. Duplicating some tabs to put reports in like we do every time. We're going to right click on that tab up top and then duplicate it. And then right click on the tab up top again and duplicate it again. Back to the middle tab, go into the accounting drop down, opening up the balance sheet report. Tabbing to the right, accounting drop down, this time the income statement report. We're going to change the dates on the income statement to 2022 because that's the year that our uh, transactions are in from the bank feeds, January to December of 2022. Update. Let's go to the first tab. We're going to go to the accounting drop down into our bank feeds, which is under the bank accounts. We've got our one account connected thus far. We're going to go to the drop down for the manage of the accounts, account transactions. So we're now going to keep on adding some of the deposit side of things, trying to construct our income statement from the deposits, noting that we're kind of assuming at this time we're imagining we're doing like gig work or something so that it's fairly easy for us to wait till something clears the bank and record it as revenue when it does. If I go into the cash coding over here, uh, the new thing we're going to do if I, if I sort by the payee is we're going to say, what if uh, we've got different kinds of deposits coming from the same customer. And this could be a similar kind of thing that you would have on the expense side of things. What if, for example, you had different kinds of expenses or different kinds of accounts for the same vendor? On the expense side, when money's going out, it might be for like a office depot or home depot or something where you might normally buy supplies, but sometimes you might be buying uh, equipment or something like that and you might say is there any way I can differentiate the information in the account to make that differentiation sometimes that might be by the dollar amount but here we're specifically looking at the added detail so for for example here you might have multiple types of income coming from Amazon right you might have book sales you might have uh, you might have Amazon affiliate marketing. You might be selling inventory on Amazon. So is there a way that I can distinguish, you might have different locations from Amazon. Where is it being sold in or something like that? So we could look in here and try to say, is there anything in this added detailed information that can help me distinguish uh, between one type of income and the other? So for example, here, even in the payee line, they have Amazon, which is really the, the customer you would think would simply be Amazon, but you have this differentiating factor with the income and the California. Now, if that ties into two different sources of income, you can use that as a differentiation factor. Now, even this description, sometimes the bank feed memo information comes in and possibly you might end up with a different number, for example, that might indicate different kinds of locations. So you might be able to get into a little bit more detail on the memo description and see if there's a differentiating factor that might be indicating different locations or something like that which could help you to make more detailed bank rules and break out the uh, different customer payments for different things to separate accounts so let's go back to the reconcile tab okay so let's add the detail here so i'm going to go in i'm going to assume this one i want to make a specific rule differentiating uh this amazon.com from that amazon.california for example so let's go into here and say uh add a rule or let's add the detail first because i want to add an account as i go now when you when you're going to create an actual uh customer Notice that you could just call it Amazon, right? I could just call it Amazon as the customer and have one customer for, uh, for multiple different rules and still be able to apply it to different accounts. Or you might want to have a separate customer. So I'm going to add some of that differentiation factor here so that I can track it in different customer fields. So if I sort it by customer, it's going to be a different customer, even though really it's it's the same kind of overall company of Amazon. So that's an option you can have. I go down here, it's going to be, I'm not going to have an item description, the account that it's going to go to. I'm going to make up another account here and break it out. And I'm going to call it 
let's pretend that this one is let me see what revenue accounts i'm on here what's my account number my account number is uh three four three five four three six zero let's say four three six zero so four three six zero on the account number it's going to be a revenue type of account so i'm going to say it'll be a revenue type and then i'm going to call it amazon prime so that's like similar to youtube or if you if you uploaded movies or something like that then that type of income so let's say i can differentiate i'm just making this up but let's say we're going to differentiate uh, in that fashion and put this to amazon prime account so i'm going to say all right let's save that and then i can make a rule for that if i wanted to hitting the options uh, button now that i have my account entered and create a bank rule Let's create a bank rule and it's going to be any conditions match. That's fine. It's going to be if you have any, uh, I like any text field. I, lo I love that they have that option of any text field, which it isn't often there in other softwares like, uh, like a QuickBooks, because that allows you to use uh, the rule to apply to all, you know, all the text fields. Uh, you don't have to say, well, is this a description or is this the memo field or something like that? when you're trying to put these more detailed uh, rules in there. And then I can say, I want it to contain, uh, I want it to uh, contain, and we only really need the contain, you could do exact here, but I still just may make it contain, and I just wanna make sure that it contains the portion that is different, the differentiating portions from the other rule. Now, if we wanted a rule to pull in all Amazon items, all Amazon related stuff, to the same account, then I would want to make a more generic rule, possibly saying if it contains Amazon, just do this to it. But if I want to differentiate them, I can include that differentiating factor, which is this bit, and make sure that that's in there so it will only apply it to that differentiating factor. Now, if there was more information that I needed to differentiate, such as the description here, again, I could use an any text field to do that, but then I can pick up the piece of the number that's a differentiating factor, or I can have the two line items and say you wanna make sure that it, that it matches all uh, of them, all the rules in order to, to get it. But I, this should be enough with just one for now. So I'm gonna remove that second one. I'm gonna call it uh, Amazon, can I just copy it? No, I can't copy it. Uh, let's copy it down here. I'm gonna call this amazon.com. So I'm gonna copy and paste that there. And that's going to be my new contact. So, and again, I made a different Amazon.com, not just Amazon. Uh, so that'll be differentiating from, I think the other one was Amazon.California or something, uh, CA. And so down here, I'm going to say the account is going to be the income account of Amazon Prime. 100% going to it. And then I'll just take it to the reference. That looks good. So if we save this and then I can uh, record it. So so now the, these two are both being pulled in because they're amazon.com. Uh, so I can pull both of those in and check it out. If I go to my balance sheet and update it, the checking account should go up by those massive amounts in here. But the other side is gonna go to the income statement, updating the income statement into the new income account, Amazon Prime. If I go into it, we're racking in the, the money, almost $8 right there. That's what I'm talking about. We're, we're So there it is, amazon.com receive money form. All right, back on over. Now the other one, if I received money from Amazon,